Ready? He literally inhaled that thing and then just... There we have a sunfish, come on. Take it, take it. There we go. Now we finally hooked up. See how nice this guy is. No idea why. Here's a little nicer fish. Look at that. He's gonna take it. There we go, we're on. Ah! Sorry, I'm not screaming and yelling. Kind of timid. They're really kind of timid. He's, he spit it out, he spit it out. I don't know what, why. I need to figure out something. I've got line twists in this mono, whoa. Why? Well, he got the bait. Got him. We got him. We're on. Wow, he just came out of nowhere. Look at that. Oh, that's a sunfish. Look at him. True sunfish. Look at that. <laughs> nice catch. GoPro on the end, and there's a bridge I fish. And I has... oh. Pike, I don't want that. Leave me alone. Sure, you do. No. <laughs> no. Whip around and just nail this thing. That's how they work. No, I'm not looking at you, and then boom. It is, and that that was awesome, especially the, the color on that pike. You can see everything on it. I know it's it's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very happy with this camera. I know. Yeah, they don't like you anything. Know what I should get? Nicole to put on your rod. The secret weapon. She'd probably catch. Beaver tail. Do you got it? Let's record that crap. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll can go, we? I'll I'll go get the secret weapon. Yeah. So I got my beaver tail here. So I'm just gonna cut a chunk out of the side like so. This is, now this beaver tail is tough, and I mean, it's gristle, so it's really, really hard to get off your hook if a fish bites it. So what I did, or what I've been doing, is I cut a chunk out that looks like a wax room pretty much. And you just hook it through the tip like it would be a wax worm. And the action that this gives off in the water is crazy. Let's give it a shot. Awesome. Got him. Finally. Whoa! Size of this guy. This is huge. This is huge. Be in the water. Oh, yeah. Let him go. Whew. Yeah, that's a good picture. Ooh, look at that pike. Oh yeah. Uh oh, he's Holy going after that gill. He's yeah. going after Holy. the gill. He shot. <laughs> oh, after that gill. Poor guy, and he's a big gill. I'd say this beaver tail is pretty slick. I'm gonna go get more. Can I go cut a piece? Yeah. One thing, one weird thing I do that nobody else does is I put a split shot above all my jigs. Why? This is great for oh, this is great for, tail. Well, don't mind. I put a split shot above all my jigs. Um, you know, if I like, I like to fish the longer rod, so you have wind, obviously, that affects the line and blows it around. Well, yeah. if you put a split shot on there along with your tungsten, it puts a lot of a lot of down tension on the tip of your rod. Loads it up just a little bit, so even even the slightest bite in the wind, you see it. Smart. Versus if, if the tungsten's just there, your line's kind of blowing around, and you really can't see the bite good enough. But yeah, I a lot of people ask me why I do that, and it's exactly why I do it. That's awesome. I will lean funny. I don't know. I'm lean funny like, like that this. Camera. <laughs> yeah, like because <laughs> yeah, the swimming away. I'm like you little sons of a guns. Like in oh here's the one. I had at one point I had all these fish coming in and they all stared at it and they did nothing and then they all turned away they're notorious for this in the winter time like in january winter time it is winter time but like january they're just zombies sweet fed him a little line yeah this feels nice actually this feels really nice 
It's yeah, running. It feels big. It feels big. I hope I can get it up this hole. <laughs> I got the six inch hole. Oh yeah. This is really big. Oh, this is exciting. Look at him run. Oh no, don't die. Really nice yes. lake. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, all. that's a nice one. Wow. Oh bud. There you go. Not yet. No. I've seen this before. <laughs> right? Big things happen when we fish together. All I remember is please Scotty don't get hooked. Oh, that was that was amazing catch. That was crazy. I was lucky I didn't get a treble hook in my hand because that thing would have ripped my fingers off. You got bigger components oh than I did. This is a, gosh, this is a big pike, you guys. Oh, I didn't even know they were that big in here. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. That's a nice one. That one. <laughs> oh, come on there, bud. Nice release, man. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nice pike. Bye-bye. That was awesome. Way to go. What do you think of it? Oh, for starters, it's pretty badass. I mean, it's super light. You know, for anyone to carry. I know, that's why I, I love mean, it. It is, it just, it's pretty stealthy too. There you go. That is sexy. wild. That is something. <laughs> you like it? I, I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a great day out here in central Minnesota chasing panfish. Shout out to 330 Maniac. Thanks for joining me today. We had You're a good welcome. time. I had a, I had a really good time today. If you guys follow him, his handles will be below. We got Jacob Tooth Tackle. Don't forget, Bob is my uncle. Bob is a, it's a, it's a Canadian saying. And then Ryan. What's Ryan's handle again? Northern Groove Fishing. Northern Groove Fishing. Over on Instagram. He's not paying attention, but he's been helping me out today. Well, I have got yeah. a good variety. Yep. Yeah. And the beaver tail. <laughs> that, the beaver tail that, that was, was the ticket <laughs> yes uh, until next time subscribe like comment i hate that part too <laughs>